Well, I'm a little ways up the road. I am already coming up to my first junction. It's going to be a split in the road. You're going to see a sign coming up. If you're going to hike towards Jackson Flat Campground, or drive towards Jackson Flat Campground, this road doesn't look too bad for a car with a fair amount of clearance. It's not too bad. Um, last time I hiked this way, I turned left here and headed towards Fenner Saddle and then up towards Pinion Ridge, which you can use a 4x4 to get up to Pinion Ridge. But I hiked it from the same exact area by Vincent Gap. But I'm going to branch off to the right. And I went this way the first time I did Jackson Flat. Hiked all the way to the campground and peak. <clears throat> I don't have any video for that one. That was back in 2015. That was the first time I did Jackson Flat. I hiked along this, which curved around and underneath the peak I'm going to today, which is Vincent Gap Peak. And then I got off, found a little use trail that connected to the Pacific Crest Trail. Follow that, and it took a use trail to the summit of Jackson Flat, which is maybe about a fifth of a mile above the campground, if even that, it's very close. There's a weird water tower on Jackson Flat. There's a Boy Scout trail to Jackson Lake. You can also access Jackson Lake too, which is clear on the other side and about about 800 feet lower. We're at about an elevation of 6,900 feet right now. And I have about 600 or so more feet of elevation to, to gain. It's really easy getting up here. If you're doing it on foot, the road's not steep at all. I'm still a lot of shape from doing a lot of resting from my injury, but it's not that hard. And we're almost in a monotypic stand at Jeffrey Pine. Just about all Jeffrey Pine. Except here's a small single leaf pinion right here. So. It's been almost four years since I've been this way. I walked along this for a while. So when I went to all, the whole way to Jackson Flat, the campground area and the peak. Another single leaf pinion over there too. So we'll start getting some single leaf pinions as we are getting closer to the drop down towards the desert. But once you take the way to Pinion Ridge, when you if you fork to the left, it gets very lush. Lots of Jeffrey pine, sugar pine, big cone Douglas fir, or even some sequoias, some young sequoias before you get to the real lush part as you're going down. Not that far past the junction. I know the Forest Service plants sequoias here, and I think some of those are starting to naturalize because it looked like there were some saplings. There are no large trees, but there are some 
small giant sequoias seem to be doing fairly well, considering once you crest over Baden Powell, you, it starts getting a little drier. Hence, the reason why Jeffrey Pine is our predominant tree here. They tend to take over on drier slopes. Though you will find them on moist slopes too. If you're heading up towards Baden Powell, you'll see them like crazy over there. But once you go down past the lush area towards Fenner Saddle, then it turns into single leaf pinion and curly leaf mountain mahogany woodland and quite a bit of flannel bush along that way too once you're going towards Pinion Ridge. It's a lot drier there because Baden-Powell and this part, this is technically part of Blue Ridge right here. It leads all the way past Mountain High all the way to Wright Mountain towards the saddle between that and heading up towards Pine Mountain, which is the culmination of Pine Mountain Ridge. That's going towards Mount San Antonio. So Blue Ridge does take up quite a bit of real estate. And we're kind of in the western edge of it here. This is a very beautiful hike. Then we got some lupines. I'm not very hip to my lupines, as I've said before. And then we got Golden Yarrow, that's Areophyllum Compertiflorum, variety Compertiflorum. Quite a bit of that here. And, of course, again, Fremontodendron californicum. California Fremontia, or flannel bush. So, yeah, this grade is very gradual. I think it was built so that passenger cars could drive this. So that's why I'm taking this. I think the PCT, taking the BC, PCT north from Vincent Gap would have been a more direct route. It would have cut the half, the, the mileage in half. But I'm not really looking to do that. I'm trying to get some mileage in and, you know, working my way on more gradual climbs for now. But, uh, just enjoy a beautiful saunter, beautiful forest here, and uh, I'm going to keep my eye out for the PCT. I believe it crosses the road. It'll cross the road somewhere up ahead. 